hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching in today's video i will be making some very easy high-end home decor diys using the dollar tree poster sticker letters so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get notified every time i upload with that being said now let's craft Starting with my first project from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to use one of these wood frames with tip boards. Now this is new to Dollar Tree or at least new to me. I'm also using some stickers and some poster sticker letters. So you can use this vertical or horizontal. I will be adding the word home and underneath that I will be adding some of the leaf stickers. Now I do recommend you to be very careful and do not stick the stickers on there unless they are on the place you want them to be because I accidentally ripped one of my letters because once they are on this tip board they stick very well. To finish this off, I will be making a bow using this beautiful ribbon that is from the Dollar Tree and I will be adding it to the leaves. And that is it. This was very easy and simple to do and you do not need no machine. You just need some poster sticker letters from the Dollar Tree. For my second project, I will be using two of these Dollar Tree wood pieces and I'm going to glue these together using a combination of wood glue and hot glue. For this project, I will be doing some reversible stencils. So I'm using some of these poster sticker letters from the Dollar Tree and I'm putting the word family on this. One thing I do recommend you doing is pressing the stickers on the wood real good because I didn't do that and some of the corners lift up so when I pin it over this it bled through. Using this beautiful paint that I got from Hobby Lobby, I think the name is Earth or earth something but i have the name down in the description box in case you want to check it out so once i was done painting this i did let it dry for a couple of minutes before i removed the letters And look how quick and easy this was. I absolutely love how this turned out. For my next project, I'm using one of these Dollar Tree larger signs. Now this had a star at the top, but I did remove that. I'm actually reusing this sign. You can make this sign horizontal or vertical. I will be doing mine vertical. Now I'm placing the word gather in the center, giving a space at the top and at the bottom.
and this is how it looks now to decorate my sign a little more I put two beads on each side of a piece of string and I wrapped it at the top with another piece of string I just wrapped it at the bottom And that was it for this quick and easy gather sign, which I think it turned out beautiful. For my next project, I will be using one of these Dollar Tree wood planks. Now the one I'm using is something I already used, so it's already painted. And the paint I used for this, I made it, but I'll have all the paints I used to paint this down in the description box. Now I'm going to just paint over it using some white chalk paint. This chalk paint that I use, I don't like it. I used it because I ran out of my other good one, which is the Waverly chalk paint. The one I'm using is from the Dollar General. But anyways, once I was done painting this, I just let it dry and then I use a piece of Senshi to send it out and make this more rustic and old. Now I will be adding the word bless across the sign, but I made this curvy so it can fit. To finish this off, I will be using some of the Dollar Tree greenery. I cut some stems off and tied them together in the center. I glued this underneath the bless sign. Now to cover the center, I made a bow using some of the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. And that is it guys, that is it for this beautiful blessed sign. For my next project, I will be using two of the Dollar Tree signs. Now mine, I got these during spring, but Dollar Tree always carries signs like these that you can use instead. I'm going to just make a big sign and I'm going to glue these together. On the back, I will be using some large popsicle sticks. The next thing I did is I tried to fill in the holes in the center using this wood filler that I got a long time ago from the Dollar Tree but it dried out and I still try to use a little bit of it but it didn't work so the next thing I did was just paint it over this I used some of the ivory color and I added a little bit of brown to make this a little bit darker
Now this next step is going to be a little bit hard for me to explain on what I did, but it is very easy. All you have to do is using a large paintbrush and a little bit of white paint. Now I'm making this look wash, whitewashed. And to do that, I just slightly paint over it. I didn't press on the paintbrush a lot and I just painted back and forth, back and forth until I like how this looks. And by me painting it like this, you can't even tell I attached two signs together. I let this completely dry before I added the poster sticker letters. Now I added welcome to our nest, but I added all the way at the top, leaving a space at the bottom. I will be adding one of the Dollar Tree little shelves. To add the shelf, I use a combination of hot glue and E6000 to make this sturdy. And the last thing I did was use a piece of the G-string to add it to the top for the hanger. I used the same little holes that the sign had. And that is it for this beautiful, large welcome to our nest sign. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. So thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.